for many of the companies, they worry about how to actually find applications and how to find business models to make money out of it. I don't think Alibaba is concerned about geopolitics and uh, Tencent is worried about uh, U.S. Uh, companies and so on. So they are very much focused on domestic market, the focus on commercial applications. You know, if you follow the China's S&T development since uh, the late 1970s, China's reform, S&T has been an area that every generation of uh, Chinese leaders have paid a lot of attention and have pushed for reform and have promoted the development of the area. So I think that has really led to the a very strong uh, research base in almost all major fields in s and area. I think that provided a very strong base, both in terms of research, but also in terms of talents. So in fact, I think as you all know that uh, the deep seeks, uh, all, all of the people are trained locally right. in China. But that's certainly, I think, the, the Chinese government's role. Uh, but let me also say that, that the local government in Hangzhou has also played a very important role. So it's not coincident to see that DeepSeek actually grow out of Hangzhou, where Alibaba also claimed the Hangzhou as a home. Hangzhou has become a sort of hotspot for innovation, particularly on AI and internet and so on. And because of the local government has been very supportive and they were able to create a, an ecosystem that's really very nice for the new startups, for companies to, uh, to work in the area without feeling the pressure. If you think of support research is an industrial policy, uh, then you know people can say that China has uh, had a, an industrial policy for many years. Because I think China has supported AI research since uh, as early as the 1980s. I know the Chinese Association of AI Research was started in the 1980s. So there were, I think, some national R&D uh, plans that AI has been part of that. But that's mainly supporting academic research in universities, and in research institutes. If you have sort of industrial policies more of supporting enterprises, uh, I think that that's a different story. If you see Chinese AI industry, it's mainly private enterprise. They have been playing a very active role, a leading role. If you know the story about DeepSea, this is somebody who's done quantitative sort of trading and uh, use the money he earned and to get into this AI. There, I think the, the government policy more is more about uh, how to pro provide proper governance. I think there were a lot of hypes about so-called the uh, geopolitical competition in AI. If you look at domestically, uh, in AI has been developed more in the sense of how actually it can uh, generate services and efficiency and, and, for, and so on. So I think for many of the companies, they worry about how to actually find applications and how to find business models to make money out of it. I don't think Alibaba is concerned about geopolitics and uh, Tencent is worried about uh, U.S. Uh, companies and so on. So they are very much focused on domestic market, the focus on commercial applications. So I think that's probably the general context of AI development. Of course, since 2022, uh, you know, so large models became so, so the hot thing to people to pursue. So I think many of these companies also, they wanted to also to try to follow suit and develop big models. Uh, you might argue that that might be a competition indeed. Today, this model performs better, tomorrow the other performs better. And, but uh, still in the context of a commercial competition, rather than in the geopolitics sense. So I, I would say that that's sort of more the general context of AI development in China, if you look at from inside. Basically, if you ask companies, and, and uh, they are much more uh, concerned about how actually they can get a big model, they can, how can find application. So I would argue that uh, many uh, people internationally see view DeepSeek as a, a major turning point in uh, geopolitics. Uh, in, in geopolitical you know, competition of, of AI between US and China. But I think domestically, people, a lot of people see this as a turning point of really making the big model into 
uh, what people call the vertical application, that mm. is in one specific application, is to really lower the threshold for many companies to join, uh, to use the big models. So I think that thousands of institutions of all kinds began to use DeepSeek. And also, uh, I think uh, probably several hundreds of millions of people are now <laughs> using in the whatever the soft software they can, the hardware they use. Indeed, the certainly I think Chinese media is very similar to the way, you know, the media you saw. They certainly wanted to put those uh, in the uh, geopolitical uh, context. But I think they, in terms of you look at the company and look at the uh, researchers in universities and the research institute, they are not much different from what you saw in, say, UK, US. People focus on what they do, and they are indeed very excited about the abilities being offered by all these kind of AI models. So to AI for science and so on. There, I think there's not much different. The AI is such a wide thing, trying to separate global AI development ecosystem into different pieces. I don't think that's easy. Uh, if you mm -hmm. look at the, uh, you know, the research communities, I think before uh, the year of 20, say, uh, 2018 or 19, uh, there's a very, uh, very intense collaboration between US and China, you know, in terms of academia, very strong collaborations. And also in terms of AI system, I think there's also very, uh, you know, wide, uh, you know, uh, applications and, you know, collaborations and also people circulating back and forth. So uh, I think there is a sort of kind of global ecosystem uh, that's open source and uh, people learn from each other. Uh, and and, and uh, so, uh, you know, for example, I think that um, some people argue that actually there are some Chinese AI papers were cited probably most in the AI field. Uh, so you might argue that the Meta's model maybe have some roots in the Chinese Research in Institute. And the, you can also argue Alibaba's model may have also something from the US. So I, I don't know whether you can have some, whether you're able to say, okay, this technology is, is US. And the, it, it, indeed, I think there are indeed models from different companies. If you, if, if you use that as a way, of course, we know there are, you know, all kinds of models from, from different companies. Mm -hmm.